So wait until the right button is pressed. Because we press the left button to make a beep, then we wait until the right button is pressed, and then we make another beep. So play beep for two seconds. And then we do exactly the same thing again for the left button, because our code is left, right, left, right? <laughs> left, right, left, right? Uh, that's it. Okay, left, right, left, correct? Okay, so we go control, and then we go uh, wait until. So uh, there is a huge flaw in this password, but I'll tell you about it in a moment, okay? So we press left, right, and then we press left again. Uh, is left button pressed? And then we play the beep again. And then we open the lock. So we go my blocks, open lock. Okay, I want you to try that. Let's try that and see if it works, okay? I'm not sure, I haven't done this before. Let's have a look. All right, start the, start the program. Yep, so it locks it up. Then I go left, right, left, opens it up. Fantastic. So this lock works like a charm. Okay, so I'll show you again on uh, the big screen this time. All right, so this lock starts off, uh, it's going, it's opens, but now I'm going to start the program. So it's going to lock. So it's locked now. And now I'm going to press left, right, left. Okay, or I'll press right first. No, nothing's working. I go left, right, left. And then it unlocks. The, the most debilitating uh, thing wrong about this password is that it's not going to punish you for entering the wrong code. Okay. If I press left and then left again, it should start the code all over again. Does that make sense? But the way that the code is working right now is that when you press left, then it's waiting for you to press right. So if you press left again, it's not going to punish you for it. It's going to just keep on going forward. When you press right, and then you can press right again, it's not going to punish you for it because it's waiting for you to press left again. So eventually, if you press all the buttons over and over and over again, you're going to eventually open the lock, which is a big no-no, all right? So that's not what we're trying to do. What are really bad passwords? Who wants to raise their hand and tell me what is a bad password? I want you to raise your hand and tell me what is an example of a bad password, okay? Uh, it has to be really bad, bad so that people that you don't use that password ever again, okay? All right, Jeremy, what's, a, what's an example of a bad password? Password. Password. You should never, ever, 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 ever name your password password because if, if we can guess it, then hackers can guess it and then steal your stuff. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, fantastic. One, two, three, four, five terrible password it's really bad because a lot of people don't want to think about creating passwords most hackers when they have three guesses in your password their first guess is going to be one two three four okay excellent that's a really bad password another example of bad passwords is uh four numbers that are exactly the same so one 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 is a terrible password two 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 three 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 all those passwords they're really bad okay never ever ever use a password like that uh, what's another bad password? Your birthday is also a bad password. If you use your birthday like uh, uh, in, inside your password, like uh, 1999 or I don't know, 2011 or something like that in your password, then it's very bad as well, okay? Never ever use your birthday for your password. And if you ever uh, have a, this conversation with your mum and dad, maybe you can tell them. You can tell them that maybe you should change your password if it's one, two, three, four, or if it's your birthday, or if it's a birth year, or something like that. Okay?